Good. All right, guys, um, the injuries from the game. Just uh, Deion Jordan had a knee, did not return. Um, don't think it'll be too serious. Go ahead. Kyle, how would you uh, how would you describe your emotions just in terms of maybe frustration or loss, relief that the season's over, or are you full steam ahead into 2021 already? No, I'm very happy the season's over. Uh, we, we've been, you know, once we're eliminated from the playoffs, you know, we're ready to move on a little bit and get to next year. Um, but we had to finish it, and uh, I was real proud of the guys today. Um, you know, I, I thought those guys competed their ass off in all aspects. Um, I told them to hold their heads high. Um, I didn't think it wasn't a moral victory or anything because I, I believe we should have won the game. Um, there was a couple plays that we just needed to make at the end that we didn't, and um, they did, and they were able to pull that off. So that was disappointing, but um, I'm like, so proud of our guys um, that they gave all they could and every opportunity that they had. And um, I'm excited this year's over, and now it's time to figure out how to improve us. Oh, you alluded to it, but how excited are you about getting back in the Bay Area, I guess, in a, a few hours? Uh, very excited. First time I've ever packed two days in advance for anything. Um, you know, it's, you know, we're all excited to see our families and everything. We got a little break. Some of us saw our families over Christmas, which was as nice. Some weren't able to. Um, so it's been way too long for a number of guys. Um, and just, I mean, anyone's stuck in a hotel for, um, I think over 30 days. I mean, that, that does wear on you a little bit. So, um, not just me, but the players, the cooks, the equipment guys, um, everybody involved with us is ready to get back home. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to be smart with everything, but um, I look at it, I mean, the way we kind of did business all since we've been there. I mean, the, the way we've done all our business um, with all our Zoom meetings, with um, everyone spaced out, I mean, we, we have that as good a setup as I would say almost anyone in the country. Um, you know, the main thing is we can't go out and practice football anymore, and um, we don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, you've seen that from Russell Wilson a, a, a few times, but you know when you had the ten point lead, I'm sure you're not comfortable with him. Was that just kind of a vintage performance, at least fourth quarter performance by him? Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's why they win a lot of games. I mean, they try to hang in there till the fourth, and I uh, thought we had enough of a lead to do it. And I thought there was a couple plays that we missed that um, I would have had a much better chance to kind of uh, put the dagger in him a little bit, which is always hard with Russell. Um, but the plays he made at the end, just extending those plays, thought we had a couple chances to get him in the pocket. Um, and when he squ squeezes through there, I mean, that's why he's one of the best to play this. And that's why he's one of the better guys in the league. And, um, you know, that's why they ended up pulling it out there at the end. Kyle, Jeff, Jeff Golson scored another two touchdowns today. I'm guessing he's one of the bigger bright spots of the season. And just how hard did he finish it off today? Um, honestly, it, it, I feel like Jeff's done the same thing every time we've asked him to. And even last year, we didn't ask him as much last year because there was a few guys ahead of him who were playing at a very high level. And um, I thought we were a little more fortunate with injuries last year at the running back position. But um, this year, losing you know um, all of our guys pretty early that played last year got him some opportunities fast. Um, then unfortunately, he got hurt too. And then he was able to come back at the end and finish strong. And um, I think the main thing with Jeff is, um, like a lot of guys on our team, um, him doing his part throughout this whole offseason, us doing our part to figure out how we can help him and anyone in any way. But uh, we got a lot of good players, but we got to find out how to um, handle the wear and tear of an entire season. Kyle, uh, this is probably the last game uh, for Robert Sala. How much was that um, discussed or, or talked about with the players, and was it any sort of motivating factor, do you think, for, uh, for the defense's the defense's energy throughout the game? Um, I mean, I know how much the players respect Robert as a coach and um, love him as a person. So I wouldn't say that today was any extra. I feel like that's um, why they fight for him every week. I mean, when you got coaching staff who knows what they're doing and also is connected and invested in the players, um, all guys want to do is be coached the right way, and they want you to care about them. And Saul does that as good as anyone. Um, I was very happy with how what he did throughout the whole year. 
Um, I would be very surprised, just like you said, if um, if we don't lose him. I don't know what's wrong with people if they don't hire him. I mean, he's as good as you can get, knows more about football, all three phases. Um, and he's going to hire the best staff. He knows about players. He knows who knows what they're talking about, who doesn't know what they're talking about. Um, and he also knows how to deal with people. So um, I hope everyone's not very smart and doesn't hire him. So I, I can keep him. Um, but I'm expecting not to have them. And, but we've got a lot of other good guys on our staff, and I know there will be some no number of options. And uh, we've got a number of good players. And what we built here over the um, four years um, with Sala, with the whole coaching staff, um, we haven't made many changes. So um, there's a lot of guys who we've all grown here together, and uh, we've got a lot of players who are used to it too. So I expect whatever we end up deciding here, and obviously we'll wait to see what happens with Sala. Um, but I know the Niners will be all right. Um, I don't think that we have. I'm not. I'm sure that'll happen all tomorrow. I mean, I don't think. And then, no, that never happened with me until the Monday of. You know, a lot of people try to do it out of respect to you. And I know Saul is going to have a number lined up. I think he is going to get one with Atlanta pretty fast. I know it's a little weird situation with these guys are interviewing out of Zoom and not kind of the normal way that you do it. So, um, but I'm, I am pretty sure that he's got one with Atlanta tomorrow. And um, and I know others will start coming later in the week. Uh, well, at least statistically, I think that was Aziz Alshire's best game in, in a 49ers uniform. Were you happy with the way that he um, seized the opportunity this year after Quan uh, left in New Orleans to get more playing time? Um, yes, I mean him and Dre. You know, Dre got that last year, um, but then Aziz to come in and base um, and take that that role, and then um, you know, and then today, you know, when we lost Greenlaw, being able to stay out there every down, um, Aziz done a lot of good stuff for us here in these two years, and. Um, it'll be a big offseason for him, though. Um, I liked a lot of the stuff we saw today, um, but I want him to keep getting better, um, to keep trying to own that role to get become a starter full time, and also being better and helping us out more on special teams. Kyle, you said you can't wait to figure out how to improve us, and obviously you're going to answer 100 million quarterback questions this offseason. But I want to know where you think you guys can improve defensively, just based on how you can perform this year. Uh, I think we can improve everywhere. I mean, we, we got to get some guys healthy back, which um, when you lose some big time pass rushers, that changes a lot of stuff. So I think one of the biggest things is figuring out getting our guys healthy, getting them the right program, which I know most of them already started. Um, and then you when you have a good nucleus of players and you got a good scheme, you don't sit there and necessarily always just target, hey, this whatever this stat said, we have to improve in this. I mean, you do that as you watch tape and everything. but. You look at all the options. You look at the draft hard. You look at free agency hard, and um, you see who has a chance to make your team, who can improve your team, and you just go out as as hard as you can. We got time for one more, please. Kyle, you spoke about how the players have not given up at all in this season, but did you sense a, like a little bit of a sense of relief now that you're out finally able to go home, that it's finally over? And then, what's the next step for you and the team? Um, I mean, yeah, there's no doubt. There's relief. I mean, that's. That's been adding up. So that, that's what's been, that was my worry just from human nature when you start to get concerned about how miserable you are in a certain area and you want to get home and things like that. And it was um, letting your circumstances affect your job and things like that. And uh, that's what I was proud that our guys didn't do. But um, there's no doubt they're ready to get back. And um, just for us, I mean, going forward, we'll send up, we'll work this week. I want to figure out a number of things with the coaches, which um, I don't think will happen right away. Uh, so we got to play that out, see if anything does happen to Saul or any other coaches on our staff who could get some opportunities. Um, and then usually after that, um, try to get away for a little bit, um, just out of the building, um, away from some of these guys that um, we've been around with every day. I know they would probably not like to see me for a little bit. Um, but, you know, and then out of the office, you get to figure out a bunch of stuff. I mean, you get to be with your family, but you get to be on your own little schedule. So um, whenever I'm not with the family, usually for entertainment, as sad as it is, I'm probably watching some film. And now it's, sometimes it's going to be college players. Sometimes it's going to be free agents. Sometimes it's going to be our guys. Um, also, we'll see if there's an opportunity to talk to other coaches if things open up and maybe guys to interview and stuff to see if they can upgrade our staff or um, whatever it might be. Um, and that's kind of usually how you spend January, um, getting all your ducks in order in that way and um, try to get everyone back um, right after the Super Bowl. And that's when you just start hitting it hard um, with everyone working together and getting ready for a combine 
um, whatever will happen with that. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, folks. All right. Thanks, Gus.